Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and uh, today I came up with another interesting, it's quite interesting this scenario. Again, we will resolve through the power query, right? So let me explain you what is my scenario and what is my problem statement and how to resolve it. Okay? So let me go to an Excel file here. So here basically, this is my one table, which is nothing but this is a sales table. I just created a table called sales. Here I have uh, different regions, their group, their product, and then sales. Like, so I have two two regions. So east regions have the shoes, east region have the bags. So like that for west regions also we have shoes and bags and different products they have. Okay. So and another thing is that I have a separate entity for each and every product I have a discount. So if you see this entry, right? So this consists of east underscore so it means that the discount should be applied for this. So if I consider East, Sue's and P001, right? So I am getting complete information from here. So this one row, right? For the East, Sue's and P001, the discount should be 0 0.0882. Yeah? Like that, East Bags, P002, the discount is this. So I have a separate entity for each and every uh, region, their groups, and their products and I have a discount and it is in a different structure itself. It's just like a tabular structure. So what do we need to do? We need to fetch somehow this discount from here to bring it here on this table. Then finally, I can create some discount amount and from that I can create some, uh, what do you call it, uh, the net sales and all. So it basically it is, it is just like doing this. So somehow I need to bring discount here. So for this discount, it would be 0 0.082, something like this, it should come, okay? Got it? So this is something like this, right? Let me delete this. I don't require, let me save this file. I will not say this, okay. So this is the way the discount will come and based on that it should be get calculated, correct. So how you can do that and what, so this is, this is nothing but a name range, okay. So this is a name range I given, this is called the discount underscore rate. So this two table I already imported into the Power BI, let's see, let's save and let me go to the Power BI here, All right. So this is my sales table where all the data are available, okay, which is region, group, product, and then sales. And the discount rate is another table where this is the data we are getting somehow, very unstructured, right? The first point first is that so if you see this heading, no, this is actually a data. Table one is two, this is a group actually. So there is a change type happened uh, after promoting the headers. So automatically Power BI took or apply these two steps. So let me first delete these two steps first so that I will get my data into the below, okay. Now somehow this table I need to split it so that I will get some information like the region, the group and the product and anyway I have a discount on this. So basically this table I want to convert it like this with region, group and product and instead of the sales I should have a discount on this table. Then only I can do some merge, then I can get the discount over there, then I can do my uh, calculation over there. So how to do that, okay? So from here, this table, I want to have four columns, region, the group, the product, and finally the discount amount, right? Let's see how to do that. So first, basically what we need to do here is that, let's select the column number one, go to add column and conditional column here, right? And uh, what I'll do is that, let's select the column number one. If it contains the word called table, right? So whenever there is a table, here is table, here is table, here is table. Wherever it is getting the table, then I need to just print the column number one itself. So it means, it means that whenever it is there, just print the, the value of the column one and else it will be null. So if you see the conditional column, what happened is just like whenever the table number one is just printed, other one is just printing the null here. All right, we are good on this, right? Now what do we need to do? First of all, I need to split this column based on the the column first. 
so the one column will be table one and one column it contain the east underscore source like that i want to do it so for that what we need to do let's go to come here and right click on this split column yeah split column by delimiter and my delimiter would be here it will be not space or something it will be custom and it will be the column based on that i want to split it okay and if you see i got two tables here one is table one one is this number source so i don't read this custom one which contains table one table two all those things i'll just delete it out okay i don't read this so let's just delete it out now this part again i need to split it to two parts first i will get my region and second one i'll get my groups so what i'll do again i will click on this column split column sorry split column by delimiter and this time i will do by my underscore right got it so now we have my east and we have my source okay we got it right now what do you need to do we have all the information almost ready now what do you need to do is that go to the column two and remove the nulls i don't require null discount here all right almost we are near to this okay what happened to this just uh, let me check uh, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. okay yeah so before to that not before removing the nulls no i need to uh, fill up this value so wherever there is a east it should be east but not null value with the same value so what i'll do for this i'll click the custom 2.1 and i will transform fill down yeah so that i will get east 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 and all same i will do for the other custom i will create my fill down okay now i can remove the nulls from here okay let me remove the null here exactly now we got the information right so here i remove this column to the first then remove the column to the first, second okay and let me uh, rename the columns okay so this is my region okay this is my group and this is my sorry this is my product and this is my discount sorry this count okay now i think the data life looks good only the part is the discount part i need to make it as a decimal number here so i will get my discount properly here so now see is all the all the discounts square it is same as now at the sales table right so we transform from my this information just like this information to make it as a completely tabular information now what you need to do we can merge this two table based on the region group and product three columns i need to consider while doing the merge so that i can bring the discount to the sales table then finally we need to do the calculation right so what i'll do i'll go to my sales table here then i will click on the home tab click on the merge queries and i need to select the selection like the first will be region second will be the group and third will be the product so i'll select region control group and three product is three see one two three is coming now this is the order you should select and from the discount rate also i need to select the region my group and my product and it will be matching records it will be inner join okay there is no left and right but here if you see the sections measure zero of it so it is not matching but both are matching right east switch p001 is there it's it is p002 east back p002 everything is there what is the problem let's see first of all let me put the values here the table is empty there is no value so if you want to expand it also you will not get the data anything okay if you click on the discount nothing is there right makes sense right what is the problem what is the problem so you are doing a merge here it is not working the problem here is that if you go to the discount rate column now if you see this value for the east to west south north and everything now 
in not in this case but there is a space here there is a space some space are available here in this case so space east is not equals to east right so what i need to do for this after doing this select the region and the group and click on the transform and click on the trim so that it will be deleting the space from both left and right okay now what i need to do here is that let me go to the sales table here now i will to perform the merge queries here again region my group my product and select my discounted region group my product okay you can see in a join here eight of eight rows is matching now okay now okay see correct now see discount is, what is this discount is coming uh, okay maybe this is a column already there in my table no right uh, just let me just cross check okay this is the discount table uh, let's do one more time the merge here sorry for that so let's do the region group and the product and uh, risk is my discount rate okay this is the column and let's do the inner join okay and sorry I select to region group and my discount and list okay here okay I'm, i think so this column is somehow when i explained you the excel file now that's why maybe it's column got inserted let's just delete this it's not required this is not the case okay but when you get the file this problem will be not there for you okay now if you click on the this one we are getting the discount we're getting the discount proper discount we are getting now from this table i need only the discount column right now you've got the information here for each and every product i will get my discount now what i'll do sales discount okay add column standard uh, multiply so this is my discount amount right discount amount and sales and select the discount amount standard subtract so this is my net sales net then now you can just disable this load for the discount rate and you can just load the data to the power bi right it was got loaded here let me check we got the data type here it is there proper proper information we have right so this is the way you can create different kind of transformations okay and i will provide this file uh, on the comment section of uh, this video and along with that i will provide my all the playlist description box do check it out for all the interesting content related to the power bi power query there are some dax use cases playlist and there is a playlist from dax to power bi learning from start to end okay so do check out out and please subscribe to this channel for more interesting content like this and thank you and have a nice day